So with Christmas next week, we know that there are Christmas trees up and a lot of decorations filling our home. Those things do often stay up past the holiday, though. I know, just looking around our set here, we have so many additional beautiful ornaments and, of course, the tree. And while all those things are so festive and beautiful, they all also can present some hazards as the holiday home decor can be flammable. Mm -hmm. We caught up with the folks at Escape Fire and Safety and the Granville Fire Department to see how. The holidays are a wonderful time of year, but they also involve some potential hazards right inside our home. So we are in Granville and we are doing a demonstration involving a popular holiday tradition, the Christmas tree. We're going to show everyone what's going to take place when we have a watered versus an unwatered Christmas tree and the importance of making sure that we have the holiday tree well maintained all throughout the holiday season. Candles are certainly an important uh, factor during the holidays, but also can be one of the leading causes, as can some other reasons for starting a Christmas tree fire. Now, even though we're using a flare to get this particular Christmas tree ignited, and this Christmas tree is the one that was properly watered, there's other ignition sources in the home that we need to be aware of that could cause a fire. Some of the things that are popular in the home which could cause a fire could be a candle placed too closely to the Christmas tree, could be wiring uh, of the lighting that's on the Christmas tree, which may have a short and that could in turn cause a fire. We also need to make sure we secure matches and lighters from young hands. Those tools could be ignition sources which could start a fire. Left in the wrong hands, matches and lighters can lead to devastating and tragic results. So we want to make sure there's ample room, never leave the Christmas tree uh, near an exit, and we want to make sure that exit is clearly free so that anyone could leave if they need to during fire or smoke conditions. According to State Fire Marshal Richard Miller, one of the safe choices when we're using lights on a holiday tree, use no more than three strands of lights and make sure that those lights are plugged in to an electrical outlet close to the tree. Avoid using extension cords and everyone in the family will remain safe. And one of the big concerns when a Christmas tree catches fire, the smoke that the tree is producing makes it difficult for occupants to quickly evacuate their home. So that's why it's important we have a home fire escape plan, we practice that plan, we make sure that we have two ways out and always have and maintain those working smoke alarms to keep our families safe. Never leave the holiday lights on the Christmas tree when we leave the home or when we go to bed. Again, a safer choice to prevent fires from happening. Now you can see how much quicker the tree on the left that's extremely dry is actually catching fire. It's catching all the decorations on fire, the packages. This is truly a safety concern for a family if this tree were to catch fire in a home. The tree that was well maintained with water and we cut it fresh was able to soak up more water into the branches and the needles. It did not maintain the fire due to the moisture that was in the tree. Now the dry tree of course has a lot less moisture so that's going to burn a lot more fast and the needles, the ends of the needles dry out faster and it will maintain the fire. You know, I was amazed to see the difference, how quickly the dry Christmas tree burned and how the flame shot up really, really high. Much of the fire um, stayed on the lower part of the tree and the moist tree, and it stayed contained. It took a lot longer to burn. Right, you have a little more of a, an opportunity to react and maybe mm -hmm. grab the fire extinguisher, evacuate your family from the home. I gotta tell you, house fires yeah. when, um, you know, years ago when I spent a lot of time out in the field reporting, I, I house fires are just always so, they just seem so random and mm. so tragic. And of course, if you think about those few minutes that can be absolutely critical, enough time to evacuate your family from the house and uh, certainly enough time to maybe take some safety precautions. Yeah, and there's also another video that we wanna show. It's of the chair that was next to the dry tree on fire. Now, this is gonna show how quickly the materials in furniture can burn. This one happens to be next to the Christmas tree, which could be a hazard, but this fire could also happen if, let's say, a lit cigarette fell onto a chair, which could happen just any day of the year, not just around the holidays. Interestingly enough, Granville firefighters used a device that they have to measure the heat that was coming off of this fire, 
And standing where we were, which wasn't really that far away, it was 900 degrees. Oh. And this had this little shanty that they had set up, but just think about it being an enclosed room mm. and how this fire would spread even faster to furniture that was. I mean, a lot of the, the furniture that's made these days is manufactured with things that light up so very fast. And that's how quickly fire spreads in your house and can block things like staircases, can block things like doors and windows that are our sources of being able to get outside during emergency. Yeah, great information. And mm -hmm. uh, thanks to Michael for what he does all year long to help to educate people to keep them safe from house fires. And of yep. course, we gotta all make sure we do our part. Yep, we have them on a lot. Michael McLear from Escape Fire and safety. He uh, does a great job in uh, doing programming all year to teach kids and families about what to do in case of fire. Don't go away. We'll be right back. Are you West?